When lip liner is used correctly, it's more of a prosthetic device than it is about color on the lips. When it comes to lip liners, the cheaper, the better. Expensive lip liners have lanolin, vitamin E, and things like that in them that jack up the price. Sometimes they have really pretty packaging, but most likely your face is just going to eat all of those ingredients and they don't stay put. A cheap wax is really the prosthetic device that you wanna to use to fill in ridges around the lips and maximize lip real estate, increasing the lips by up to 30%. Let's get up close and personal. I want you to take two nudes, a lighter one and a darker one, and find and point to where your lip stops being pink, okay? So the pink stops right here. But then there's this little ridge right here, this no man's land called the vermilion border. And usually we put on lipstick using the pink as a visual guide for where our lips are. And we don't include the vermilion border. So if you'll find where your lips stop being pink and draw an out, a sketchy outline, putting wax back and forth, you wanna go back and forth so you're depositing wax in between the little grooves in the lip, filling up those ridges. Try to stop thinking about where your lips actually are and where you usually put it and use the visual clue of where your lips stop being pink. Then take your darker of the nudes and outline that outline on the outside of it. It's gonna push your border a little into an uncomfortable place, probably, where you may have never put lip liner before, but it's going to include your vermilion border. And give you about 30% more lip. Now a cheap wax is also going to hold your lip color on better. Then take a thick, heavy gloss that has some shine to it. This is the perfect gloss. It's in my bio. And paint it on top of the lines that you just created first using a lip brush. A thin, dry layer where you feel like you're really having to stretch the product is going to last up to six hours. Then you can go in and fill in the fattier parts of the lip, but again, in the thinnest, driest layer possible. This is a lot cheaper than lip filler.